this is what you call the hub and spoke model and let me just quickly show you what that is and the reason why they call it the hub and spoke model here are different models and as you can see here this is the hub and spoke model the hub and spoke model is basically when there's a payment system in the middle that acts as an intermediary between other payment systems so the this is the hub and these are the spokes and that's why they call it the hub and spoke model because in the project icebreaker model the project icebreaker is the hub and the retail cbdc systems are the spokes that connect to the hub and even if you look at the oxl pl system with the way it's set up with xrpl mainnet and private ledgers the private ledgers for example imagine jurisdiction a was a private ledger on the xrpl jurisdiction b was a private ledger on the xrpl and they connected the mainnet which is the hub and that's why it's called the hub and spoke model and xrpl can be used as a hub and spoke model with private ledgers and the public mainnet or it could be used as a common platform and that's if all banks were to say, okay, we're going to use the XRPL as our common platform for CBDC interoperability, interoperability and, so, and so on. But I doubt it. I doubt every bank would be using the same platform. This is why we have the hub and spoke models. And this is why we have models like this, allowing banks to have the free will to use any CBDC system they want. And then they come up with solutions like this icebreaker hub to allow them to communicate with each other these different systems to communicate with each other even though um, they are not the same system and it's the same with the swift model as well allowing these free solutions to communicate with each other even though they are all different and this is the hub and spoke model and i'm not even sure if this works with xrpl for example can xrpl be the hub for different dlt systems i don't think it works like that with xrpl so you can't have the XRPL, as far as I understand, being the hub for a DLT system that's on Quorum, another DLT system that's on Corda, another DLT system that's something else. But it can be the hub when it comes to the XRPL um, setup for DLT systems that are built on their private layers. So imagine this RCBDC system was built on the XRPL private layer and it was Bank of Israel built on a private layer within the XRPL concept. And then we have Norway and Sweden. They are all private networks, private layers. Okay. And then they have a federated sidechain connecting to the XRPL mainnet. And imagine this is it at the bottom. Then that can work as a hub and spoke model for the XRPL system however if the systems themselves are different ledgers then i'm not sure if the xrpl mainnet could be a hub for them i don't think it works like that as from my understanding and as far as i know but as you can see this video is going to come to an end now don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so as to not miss my next video